hey, it's Dave with Creation Crate, and we're going to talk about this load cell bar. Now, this load cell bar is used for accurately measuring the weight of an object. In our case, for our project, we're using it as a strain gauge uh, or a strength gauge, and we're measuring like how much pressure we can put on here. How it does it is actually fairly simple, and it's kind of cool. You have four leads that are coming in here, right? And they're glued down with some silicone. And then on the top, you can see there's some silicone here, and there's also some more here. Well, underneath that silicone is what's called a strain gauge resistor. Now, that resistor is actually on a thin piece of film, and there's some wires that run through that thin film. And as you bend this, and that's why there's a couple of holes in here, by the way, because you want this to be able to flex at least a little bit. So as you bend that, I'm going to use this ruler so you can see. Um, as I bend it, you see the top starts to stretch and the bottom starts to get closer together. So what's happening to these resistors is as this resistor stretches, the resistance goes up and the amount of current that's allowed to pass through there goes down. As this resistor contracts, then the resistance goes down and the amount of current that's allowed to flow through there goes up. The difference between those two is what we're trying to measure. And then we're going to take that information and interpret it and turn it into a measurement that we can use for weight. Now, the change in these two is very, very small. It's minute. And so in order for us to read it and actually make some sense of it, we want to make that gap a little bit bigger. So we go ahead and amplify both of those signals so that the gap between the two is a little bit larger. And then we're able to use that information, interpret it with the Arduino, and, you, and then come up with a measurement that we can use, like weight. So that's how the strain gauge works. With the strain gauge resistors and a small amplifier circuit, we can use this to measure the weight of an object. Well, I hope you learned something new. You can find more component videos and tutorials at www.creationcrate.com classroom or ask our Facebook Messenger bot.